first I'm gonna start using my super famous, gorgeous Kylie Skin Clips. If you don't have them, I would recommend you order them online. I actually don't. They're the best. Should I order them online? Of course. <laughs> Tell me about your makeup journey. When did you get oh into makeup? Oh my gosh. Tell me everything. Um, well, our mom always had the best makeup. She always had these vintage, like, well now they're vintage, but these like Saint Laurent lipsticks with like, they had jewels on the top of them. Did you ever see those? They no. had like a red jeweled heart. Wait, actually I know exactly what you're talking about. And she always had the Close coolest things like that. And Good so choice. me and Kim would always play. But then when I was 12, I think, and Kim was 11 or 12 and 13 something, my dad's um, girlfriend got us makeup lessons. So we went to this place I and they, I heard they about filmed this. us. It was like Joe Blasco at the time, like the Joe Blasco, oh, like heavy know. foundations. Makeup has changed a lot. It has changed a lot. So that was like the 90s and we had super thin brows. You are the oldest and wisest of the family. Mm -hmm. I am the youngest, which makes us both really, really special. Yeah, the most special. The most special. Um, what would you tell your 23-year-old self? Something that you wish you knew. Hmm. I feel like... Take your time. Okay. Basically, like, live your life. Okay. <laughs> Which is just what I always say. Trusting in God. Like, I feel so grateful that we've were raised having a relationship with God and just like being able to trust that everything will work out. Yeah. So I always just trust that like when bats or just, you know, when there's bumps in the road, that I'm like, this is part of the journey and it's gonna turn out fine and this is happening for a better purpose. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you feel this way, but every year on my birthday, I kind of feel the pressure to like have the best day, have I the feel best the birthday. Same. I cry. Every no, I cry year on my every birthday, year, and, and so I don't know does why. Kim. That for me, for my 40th, was times like 100 because everyone was like, we have to have the best party. I woke up on my birthday in the greatest mood and had probably like one of the best days of my life. Good. I went riding bikes with Kendall and like some of my other friends like in Venice. When you do someone's makeup, do you like notice things about them that you never noticed? I don't know, not really. I noticed that you and Kendall have like a very similar nose. Mm, really? Yeah. And I love your noses. Thank you. And you and Rob look the most alike. Yeah, totally. I think Rob's my secret soulmate. Like that, like I feel so much better already. Like a whole new person. Yeah, you look. I also didn't get my eight hours of sleep last night mm -hmm. that I needed. Mm -hmm. So, do you think we should tell the world why my my nickname is Tinkerbell? Like, do the does the world know, or should we keep that special story? I to mean, her? I think we've told it. Really? But I'll tell it again. When Kylie was eight. We went to Disney World. So you were eight and I was 24, I believe. I always think about you when I think about Stormy because me and her are 20 years apart. Oh, okay. Could you imagine having a me as your kid? No, I love Isn't that. Isn't that crazy? That's so cool. You were eight and I was 26 and we went to Disney World. So that was my first time ever going to Disney World. Every store we went into, mom would get you guys whatever you wanted. Like you literally had everything that you wanted. And then we went into Aww. this one store and you wanted a Tinkerbell nightgown. Mm -hmm. And mom was like, Kylie, you no. She just said no for whatever reason, which is rare. And you couldn't handle the answer no. <laughs> I feel like Stormy so, has that in her too. She does? She just like 
For, she's me. She reminds yeah. me of me when so I was younger. So maybe you can be understanding with her when, she, when you do say no, but also teach her the lesson. Oh, yeah. And I just couldn't take it, and you were throwing such a tantrum, and I was like, you're the biggest brat. You Courtney and I got in the biggest fight but, to this day we've ever had. Yeah, to this day. I was like, you're the biggest brat. I'm embarrassed to be related to you. And you, she was, you I was like, there's kids that are dying. I was like, there's kids that are starving. There's oh, kids that have line. nothing. You, you pulled the line out? Yeah, the, I didn't say there's people that are dying, though, actually. I said there's kids that have no food, that have no homes that have nothing and you've gotten everything in this whole trip and you don't get a Tinkerbell nightshirt and you can't handle it. And then after mom made you apologize to me and then I apologized. I'm really not embarrassed to be related to you. Aww. So was that the Disney trip and our fight what led you to your Disney obsession? I'm trying to think when my Disney, you know what? When no. you had kids, maybe. When I had kids is when my Disney obsession began because I've always loved Disney, obviously, like my whole life, but not like I do now. I feel mm -hmm. like once I had kids and I got to go experience it again, when you experience it through your kids' eyes, mm -hmm. it's like you're experiencing totally. it for the first time in a different way. What is one piece of parenting advice that you would give me as a, the newer mom? letting her be like seen and heard and understood. Whatever she's feeling, like always, validating those feelings. I whether always validate her feelings. Yeah, letting them really feel like they have the freedom to be themselves. Yeah. Wow, this nose. Another snatch nose. Like, I really have such a talent. You do. Like, what? Okay, so I need to know how you really feel about, in the moment, about Kim saying you were the most, least interesting to look at. Oh my God, I was literally crying. Do you remember? At the time, I took it really personally, and I was like, I why like would someone in my Aww. family like say something like that? You're so cute. <laughs> Um, I feel it just turned into such oh a thing. Oh my God, such a thing. And then obviously I could laugh at it yeah, yeah, and yeah. like, it's like a funny thing. And then Kim said she meant to say, okay. you're the least, like something else. Should we call her and ask her what it was? Yeah. Hi, I'm filming this YouTube video with Kylie, but we just wanted to ask you, when you said you're the least exciting to look at. I thought it was interesting, yeah. No, 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 they made a mistake. I mean, it was exciting, but everyone ran with it and said you're the least interesting to look at, but you said you're the least exciting to look at. But didn't yeah. you tell me you meant to say something else? I don't even remember. If I told you that, then yes. Yeah, you told me, but I couldn't remember what it was. You're like, I didn't even mean to say that. I meant to say. I think you were just gonna say you're the least exciting, and then you added in the to look at. Yeah, I don't know. That was such a low blow. Yeah, she was asking me how it made me feel. Aw. <laughs> All right, love you. Okay, love you, bye. Bye. Talk to me about Poosh. For, for those like who don't know. So it is a lifestyle website that I started because I feel like I've gone on this like journey, health and wellness and others. It's so fascinating and I love to learn. So it's fun to be able to share that. Um, and then we just grew our um, Poo shop. So now we sell other brands on the Poo shop, like just my favorite things. I love that. <laughs> what, the silence? <laughs> no, I was thinking of like funny, like Poosh articles that are like inspired by me. <laughs> Did one today about edging. Do you know what that is? No. It's like where you like have sex, but you to the point, but like you don't 
Finish. Where is this going with? You don't finish. Wait, edging? Yeah, so it's like staying like where like you're this about to finish. This is not a millennial thing. It's almost like who wants to just get it over with? What's the fun in that? Are you still gluten free? Ugh, I'm so annoyed. Oh. I just got my blood results back and I have to be gluten free for <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I can curse. 30 weeks. Why? Do you know how long that is? That's like over half a year. For what? Because for what my reason? blood allergy is like almost like the next higher one is like anaphylactic shock. Do you know I cut all my lashes off on accident once? Like recently? Like when I was 27. Shaved my eyebrows with one of those electric shavers and it shaved oh, from no. here to here, half on both eyes. And Chloe started crying. For you? Mm hmm. This was amazing. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Thank you for having of me. Of course, I will have you anytime. Call me if you ever need your makeup. Uh, I will be here. Wait, I literally am going to. Of course, because I'll do your touch-ups tonight for dinner. I got yeah. you. Yes, of okay. course. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming for me. Thank you.